Chance, or probability, refers to the possibility of something happening. Chance is often represented on a scale like this. Words such as likely, unlikely, certain, impossible, even chance, can be used to describe the likelihood of an event occurring. Numbers are also used. Zero is used to describe events that are impossible, and one is used for events that are certain. For events that sit somewhere in between, fractions or decimals are used. This is useful because not all unlikely events are equally unlikely. Some will be more unlikely than others, and some likely events will be more likely than others. Decimals and fractions allow us to be more accurate when describing chance. Let's look at how we can express probability as a fraction, starting with this event, rolling a 2 on a 6-sided die. Within the fraction, the denominator shows the total number of possible outcomes in our event. In the case of our event, the possible outcomes are rolling a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. There are 6 possible outcomes, so our denominator is 6. The numerator, the number at the top, shows the number of ways the event can happen. In this case, there is only one possible way our event can happen, by rolling a 2. So our numerator is 1. The probability of rolling a 2 on a 6-sided die is 1 in 6. We can represent this as a decimal by calculating 1 divided by 6. 1 divided by 6 is 0 0.166 recurring. Let's now calculate the chance of a new event. This time, rolling an even number on a 6-sided die. Let's start with the denominator. What are the total number of possible outcomes? Again, we could roll a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. There are 6 possible outcomes, so again our denominator is 6. Now for the numerator. How many ways could our event happen? If we roll a 2, our event has happened. The same as if we roll a 4, or if we roll a 6. There are three ways our event could happen. Our numerator is 3. The chance of rolling an even number is 3 in 6. Simplifying this fraction, we get 1 in 2, an even chance. 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. Let's now consider a new scenario. Imagine closing your eyes and choosing a jelly bean from this bag. Calculate the chance of picking out a yellow jelly bean, a green jelly bean, a jelly bean that is not red, a green or an orange jelly bean, a blue jelly bean. Remember to use the formula to calculate the fraction and decimal. Pause here while you work. Let's see how you went. The chance of picking a yellow is 1 in 8, because there are 8 jelly beans. There are 8 total possible outcomes. There is only one way this particular event can happen, by choosing this jelly bean. Expressed as a decimal, 1 over 8 is 0 0.125. The chance of picking a green is 3 in 8. Again, there are 8 possible outcomes. This time, however, there are three ways the event can happen, by choosing this one, this one, or this one. As a decimal, that is 0 0.375. The chance of picking a jelly bean that's not red is 6 in 8. There are still 8 possible events, and here are the 6 ways the event could happen. 6 in 8 can be simplified to 3 over 4. As a decimal, this is 0 0.75. The chance of picking a green or an orange jelly bean is 5 in 8. The event is achieved if any of these 5 jelly beans are picked. 
5 eighths as a decimal is 0 0.625. The probability of picking out a blue jelly bean is zero. It's impossible. Hope to see you soon for our next lesson. EasyTeaching.net